Come have some fun and watch some games. Time to get crazy. It's night and day. Yeah. Night and day, back again. Back in the world of PVZ2 in the Jurassic Marsh in the later stages. And yeah, the last two were pretty tough. The last one was a, was a little unusual. It wasn't necessarily tough, it wasn't necessarily easy. It depended upon what was going down. But yeah, if, the, if it's like the last couple worlds, then maybe the last levels are going to be easier, and 30 and 31 are going to be easier than 28 and 29. Let's find out, shall we? Mm, yes! Um, hmm, are we ignoring? Last time we tried for Split P, it didn't work out. We tried for Rotobag, it didn't work out. Yeah, it all depends on the dinosaur breakdown, so let's just try this and learn. If there's a lot of pterodactyls, I need to move my sun plants forward. If there's not a lot of pterodactyls, we don't really need to compensate that way. Thank you, see? When the sun... When the primal sunflower makes its sun that much faster, it's a big difference. Because sometimes it produces it before the second falling sun, and you can do something right away, and sometimes it waits until the second falling sun has fallen, and you're waiting on that instead of... Your sunflower. Okay, we got our sun up nice and fast, so the zombies didn't come out super extremely fast. Uh, hmm. Let's do a little bit of that. A little bit of that. And another one for you. Alright, so killing the zombies slower is good. Regular potato mine is still cool because he's cheaper than Primal, even though Primal does a lot more. Uh-oh. Bop, 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 bop. Let's handle you this way, please. Okay, getting every one of you guys like that. That's right, please kindly leave the level. Bop, 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 bop. Oh man, we've got spammers and expammersons. Let's do that. What? How did you get there? Oh god, you little piece of dog monkey. Ugh, it's so annoying. I could have sworn. So regular... Alright, so using the first... Using the first perfume fume on Terra is great here. Let's still continue to kill the zombies slowly. Letting us build up more sun is a great plan. So we're not going to necessarily plant in a whole bunch of primals right away. We'll put one on a row where there's no zombies. So we can keep building up sun and not having these zombies. Okay, now I assume we're going to get a dinosaur somewhere. That's one. Do I hear two? Oh crap, a gargantuar. Okay, let's try and kill you with that and kill the gargantuar with pushback. Okay, let's see how well this works. Uh-oh, Roaring McGee. Nice. Okay, let's try that. Any other dinosaurs? Okay, getting dangerous up top, so let's take that out. When Neanderthal is more dangerous than actual Gargantuar. Dino? Dino plus Gargantuar? Alright. I mean, one dino at a time makes Perfume Shroom the obvious little freaking chunker to chunk. Good. Good. Alright, Gargantuar paired with that is really good. 
Could you kindly get out? Alright, that's for you guys. That's for you guys. Come on, melt, dude. Melt. Really? We gotta do this. That was weird. Those guys were just not saying no to drugs. Come on now. Alright, we got three on the bottom. We got three every which way. But the only thing they got through was that one imp at the beginning. And had I known, I could have stopped them. Join the team, baby! Okay, wow, this last part is a little bit insane. There you go. Oh, we need enough to push you back. Push him back. He's got to get out. Thank you. Okay, so we won. Pretty clean. Pretty clean, if you know what I mean. So yeah, if the dinosaurs come out one at a time, then that makes it super easy. Because you always have a perfume shroom ready. Boop it up, boop. All right, I guess we gotta get you out of here or you will be here forever. Let's use lava guava plant food. We haven't done that in a long time. Get him! There we go. That was a crunching sound. It sounded like he ate himself or something. Didn't sound like a Bernie Bernie McBurnerson. Weekend at Bernie's. Ha ha ha. Alright, anyway. Yeah, so we could have stopped that one imp a little bit earlier. I thought he was done with regular potato mine, but I guess he got to him and ate him right before regular potato mine could pop. Either that or there was a second imp and I totally didn't see it. Either way. Either way. We're also super close to 100 gems. Because if you only play this game... Your PC is ready. Your PC is ready. See this X button? Your X button is not ready. Okay, you're super happy about what you're doing. <laughs> the director. No, even more happy. Even more happy. It's not just Christmas. It's... You saved the entire planet. Given plants again. Oh, we get cold snapdragon. That's interesting to see. So I guess cold snapdragon is native to this world. But we haven't gotten any seed packets for. See, that time we didn't get there. The second sun fell from the sky, and then primal sunflower made its sun. So that extra two seconds just made a, such a huge difference on the prior level. It's insane. Okay, we can do this now. Three flags. So yeah, that last level was four flags, but the dinosaurs were so infrequent, it was great. Oh, you know what? I didn't even notice what dinosaurs were on this level before clicking start. So that's great. That's great. Good stuff. So we gonna make use of... Definitely want to make use of the good old Snapdragon this level. Okay, we want to put these a little bit far forward. We got lucky with the zombie placement on this flag because two zombies came out right where there were already two primal pea shooters. Again, let's build up some sun. Put some things where there aren't zombies at the moment. Kill the things a little bit slower on purpose. Oh, and Kylosaurus. No. Okay, so we got one Ankylosaurus on our team. Come on, we need sun like a big cheesy cheese cheese cheeser. 
Alright, second Ankylosaurus has a present waiting for him. Oh! That's not what I thought would happen. I thought he would advance him straight to... Hmm. So that means we lose a sunflower. Okay, yeah, get a two-for-one special there, please. Alright, we need some more of that. Yeah, so he has the pushback effect. Okay, we need you guys toasted, the mosted. So yeah, the pushback shoves him off. We do not have that ready yet. This is the final wave already? We got no plant food. Hmm, I guess that's a not a bug, it's a feature. Intended. Okay. Yeah, this is not going great. Here, let's do that. See that? You might be able to stop him. Not here. Slow down to eat that. 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 Now get destroyed. Yeah. Alright, so the delay strategy worked. We had enough sun to just keep planting plants to slow these guys down. Oh yeah, this will help. Get pushed back. Since you're getting slowed down plus pushback, that should be enough for the pushbacks to actually work. What? I didn't see this guy on the bottom. Uh, don't have a plant food. Don't have a plant food. Alright, so it's not going to work on the bottom. They're going to get a lawnmower because I was not paying attention to the bottom. No big deal. Totally fine. Totally fine. And once again, we get to the worlds where day 30 and day 31 go a lot smoother than day 28 and day 29. What is with that? What is with that? Hmm. So I guess... For this world, the big thing was no plant food. Get optimized business it's not a restriction. Oh, here's where X doesn't work. Everywhere. With Seems Intel legit. Pro. Oh, she wasn't nearly as happy that time. That time she was just busy at work. That looks so uncomfortable. Oh, okay, so that is a chair. It looks like a very uncomfortable, super hard chair. And then the leader lady does not get a chair. Stand! Stand if you want to lead! Show your authority. Through your verticality. Through your posture. My infuriation is epochal. Is epochal a word? Is there no way I may go to avoid your imbecilic interference? We're not chasing you. Stay right where you are. Stay right... <laughs> Stay right where you are. I have an enormous rock schedule to make your acquaintance. Scheduled to make your acquaintance. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate a ticket rock! Ah, uh, do we have to win within a certain amount of time or a boulder falls on our face? Alright, this one is very obviously a robot. More so than the dragon. Alright, back to three life bars instead of five. That's good, that's good. Ah, let's see how insane this one is compared to the other. Oh, Chard Guard. I wonder if Chard Guard would have been a great answer to some of these. To some of these, um, yeah. And Kylosaurus is in Flicky Flick McFlickersons, right? Thanks for that plant. I guess we'll get a little bit of bonk in action. We should really put those more far forward. Okay, up there. Oh, we get... Should I waste this? 
I think we gotta hold this perfume shroom, right? Yeah, we gotta get this going on though. Are you eating the bok choy? I can't tell. Okay. There we go. Now you guys are not eating a bok choy. Okay, we'd rather have this wall be farther forward, but you know, it is what it is. You need that stuff in column three, because that's where the zombies kick things too. But yeah, if we don't have stuff farther forward, we can't necessarily... Well, yeah, we can't pull in an extra... Ooh, that's a little rough. Rough and tumble. Do those kill your own zombies? No, huh? That seems legit. Worm. Hmm. Okay, we'll do a little bit of that action. A little bit of that. Okay, I am gonna start digging up then. Maybe that's not the right way to do it, but... My bong toys are not in an ideal place. Come on guys, push them back, push them back. There we go. Okay. Oh, let's see that. Save this for replacement rounds. What? His missile was like <laughs> stuck in an animation. Okay, let's get you out and you in. I guess we'll do a little bit of this action. Seems like everything's going totally fine so far. But I'm sure the end is where it gets insane. The end of the Rock Dr. Zomboss battle was just wrong. Just wrong. Okay, that charge guard is dead, so we will. We have a perfume stream, but I don't really want to use it here. I think we gotta save it. I'll use the plant food though. Okay, we'll dig you, get a bonky, dig you, get a bonky, supplement, dig the back bonkies and put in shooties, only use the most technical terms in order to win. I guess we'll protect the bonky, oh crap. Whoa, what? Get all these guys. Oh, and save yourself from the lasers. That was interesting. Accidental awesomeness. Okay. So, we're actually getting ahead of ourselves a little bit here. So, if I put this here, what does he do? Flings him back? That's pretty good, actually. You could do that in the back line. That's a different way of handling the pterodactyls than I ever considered. As soon as he drops them, we flick them away. Yeah, that's some goodness. Now there's three pterodactyls there? What am I looking at? Also, this guy's got to get the heck out. Okay. This seems to be what we're supposed to be doing. All right, where is uh, Bonk Choi? Put it here, get the new plant food. 
put it here. No, get everybody out of here. Everybody's getting thrown every which way. Well, that doesn't help. You can't plant on scorched tiles. Don't tell me what I can do with a scorched tile. Okay, well that helps a little bit. Pretty good actually. That's totally good. We got him down to the last third. No, 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 no. Get him. Get him, I said, please. What? Thank you. What the heck? We tried that a couple of times. Okay, that charge guard is basically not helping. Chomping those guys to bits, and boom. Nope, that didn't work in time, huh? Push back, push back, push back. Leprechaun. All right, chomp them, chomp them. All right, get rid of these guys. Go, there we go. Oh, that doesn't help. Lasers in my phasers. Okay. There we go. Recover, recover, recover. And Kylosaurus on the bottom. Oh, you piece of donkey, really? You showed up and ran. Okay, where do we need the most help? Basically everywhere. Alright, there's more people there at the moment. So similarly doesn't help. Very similarly. Alright, come on guys, we gotta break through to Captain Annoyance over there. And that doesn't help. Yeah, we can't hit him. I can't plant there because it's too close to the All right, so we're past the pterodactyl, which is great. Let's do that to clear. Ugh. Oh yeah, the ankylosaurus are starting to get obnoxious. I can plant this. There we go. Oh, there's a good grantuar. That's not what you want to see. Okay, we gotta do this. Thank you. Alright, well, we're hanging in there, hanging in there. Get rid of them. Get rid of them, baby. Alright, he's almost dead. No way. Uh, don't say things like that. Like that and like that. Clear, 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 clear. Alright, we're in deep trouble. But we got him. Yeah, get a dinosaur on our team at the end. Yeah! Okay, what the heck? Boom! Get out of here, baby! What? <laughs> He's getting stuck 
in his death animation because the primal pea shooters are stalling him. That's insane. <laughs> how did they not? How did they not program that out of the game? That is such an obvious interaction. <laughs> he was dying. His machine or whatever. His giant robot T Rex was like. <laughs> And it finally hits the ground. Okay. Really? Nobody on the design team was like, oh, you know what? Maybe we should take care of that. Maybe they saw it and they just left it because it's funny. Anyway, it was pretty stupid. It was pretty silly. Oh, no. He's still partly stuck. Because his eye and his teeth are like floating over my garden. What the hell is going on here? Well, we beat him first try and without losing a lawnmower, so that's totally different than what we just experienced with, um, whatever you call it, Neon Mixtape Tour, where it took 10 tries and the last phase seemed impossible. It's just, yeah, Primal Pea Shooters make Gargantuars much less of a problem. And Charred Guard in the back line is a really interesting way to deal with the pterodactyls. I wonder how that would have worked if I had done that on the earlier levels. Because each Charred Guard, it costs only 50, right? And then he throws the zombies right back where they were, or and they're walking backwards. So, yeah, it just clears the garden immediately. That is very interesting dynamic. But let's grab our little key, little key with a conch shell on it, our Nautilus key. Hey guys, how you doing? I detect an incoming meteor, user Dave. I advise immediate egress from this time zone. Bye bye, dinos! You'll be birdies in no time! Yeah, just a few million years. Bah! You leave me no choice but to enact Project Paradox! I will perceive you soon, fools! Alright, see you later, Doc. Zippity zap. Big Wave Beach. Take a trip back to the 60s and hang 10 on the ocean waves. Tides are changing and those gnarly zombies make it not so safe to go back in the water. Interesting, interesting. Big Wave Beach. Definitely, I've heard things about it. It's notoriously difficult. And yeah, we will get there momentarily. Big wave beach. Oh no, could be super super difficile. And we do get to rank 5 difficulty, the highest in the game. It's just two worlds left. Big wave beach in modern day. So wow. As usual, the last couple levels in the world were easier. So 30 and 31 easier than uh 28 29. And one of tw 26 and 27, one of those two was a little bit rougher as well. They weren't... So yeah, the Jurassic March seemed like some of the hardest levels were in the middle? I don't know. I'm not really... It definitely isn't just a constant ramp up. It's not a linear ramp in difficulty. We've seen it before in this game. It's just sometimes they'll just spice it up in the middle and you never know. But yeah, so far we did it. We've completed all the way up to this point with only level one plants. We're not leveling up our plants. We're not using boosted plants. And we're not using the powers of instant win, electricity and ice and throwing zombies off the screen and all that stuff. So, so far we still managed to do it with those restrictions. That's great. Hopefully we can still do that with the rank five difficulty worlds. Fingers crossed, rival. I don't know. It has been getting harder. Yeah, definitely levels where the dinosaurs come in one at a time are much easier to manage than the levels where you've got, you know, three to five dinosaurs coming in in big groups every once in a while. Even if it is a four flag level, if the dinosaurs are few and far between, it's very obvious what to do. Get them on your team. Perfume Fumes ready to refresh the very next time that happens every single time. That just makes it so much easier, even if it is a four flag level. So there you go. Yeah, the only plant we leveled up so far was Pea Shooter, 
because they force you to get that to level two as a tutorial of how to level up your plants. And the only time we used powers was on the board where they forced you to in ancient Egypt, which I think is level two. I think. But you know what? I think you can go back and try it and not use any powers on there, even though they tell you that's what you gotta do. Yeah. So, if we do that, pretty sure you can do it without using any, any, any power-ups. If you're just a quick little planter, if you're the quickest little planter in the West, and you plant with your plant misses, and you're quick about it, and you're planting about it. I don't know if I can do it with only... Cabbage pole. Try, 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 try. Come on, cabbage pole. Come on, shapes. Come on, cabbage pole. That's a lot of Zombarias. That's a lot of Zombarias, baby. I don't want to plant more pea shooters because the pea, pea shooter is actually level two. Uh oh. You broke through on the top. And right there as well. But we're at the final wave. But we do that, and the final wave is looking totally reasonable. Yeah, man. Plant food it up. And Tato Tato for the win, baby. I'm a Tato. Get out of our garden. <laughs> yeah, so you can do that one without actually using the powers also. So, if I wasn't tricked by the tutorial at the beginning of the game, then we could have done this level without powers too. But now we have. We included it. Hey, bonus. Random bonus. Why not? So you can definitely... Oh, the potato mines are stuck in a permanent puff of smoke. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Sunflower and twin sunflower, I guess, would be the best. Because you want to level up your sun plants and have them make more sun. If you are going to level up anyone. So yeah, we could have even done that one. But if you do it the first time you get to it, your pea shooter's not level two yet, so you can plant extra pea shooters and cabbage bolts. But I don't know, cabbage bolts are probably the way to go. There's no tombstones there, so it might be pretty equivalent. Anyway, you can beat that level without using powers. We just did it. Might as well include it in this episode, because I thought this episode was gonna be, you know, 10 or 20 minutes longer just fighting the Dr. Zomboss fight. Like the last one, which took forever. This time we managed to get by without having to fight Dr. Zomboss 200 times. But even despite that, we couldn't get by without getting trapped in the 10 year long Facebook ads. So that is going to do it for this episode of PVZ2. We will see you guys next time as we dive into Big Wave Beach. Notoriously difficult. The last two worlds are supposed to be hard as And yeah, the five star difficulty Oof, could be rough. And it looks like we're gonna get to celebrate by getting a new gem plant. Yay! Good stuff, good stuff. Gonna be fun. See you guys next time. What's this do? Oh, oh my God. I guess that sucks up all the zombies in the row. What? <laughs> the top burp. The top burp.